You've come to the right place if you want to learn how to use NordVPN for online security. In this NordVPN tutorial, I'll cover all the steps you need to take to download, install, and utilize this powerful app to its full potential. So let's jump right into the very first steps of the setup process. Before you download and use NordVPN, you have to first choose a subscription plan. Currently, the provider offers four options with different feature packages. The most affordable choice is basic, which, as the name suggests, only includes the most essential VPN features. Despite being called basic, it includes excellent fundamentals, making this a solid choice if you want robust online protection at a low price. The next subscription plan option is Plus, which I think is the best choice for most users, including myself. After all, it comes with Threat Protection Pro and NordPass, both of which significantly improve your online security without increasing the price too much. Naturally, it includes everything from the basic plan as well. The third choice is complete, which includes all the features from the previous plans and expands them by adding NordLocker, secure cloud storage, and scam call protection. And finally, we have the Prime plan if you want absolutely everything NordVPN has to offer. The cherry on top here is that you get advanced identity protection, suspicious credit card activity monitoring, cyber extortion insurance, and more. Regardless of which plan you choose, you can get a massive discount through the description below. I've found the top NordVPN deals for you, so click the link or scan this QR code to get the best one. Or stick around for the rest of my NordVPN beginner tutorial if you haven't decided yet. The next part of my NordVPN guide is downloading the app. If you already have NordVPN installed, feel free to skip ahead to other sections of this NordVPN tutorial using the timestamps below. The exact steps to download NordVPN will depend on your device and operating system. On Windows, all you have to do is go to the NordVPN website and download the installation file. The installer is already highlighted at the top of the page while all of the other available setup files are showcased below. If you're on mobile, you can download NordVPN through your phone's native app store. For Android users, that's the Google Play Store, while on iOS, that's the App Store. Another thing worth mentioning is that NordVPN has a 30-day money-back guarantee, allowing you to test this best VPN 2026 contender completely risk-free. Moving on, let's talk about how to install NordVPN. In the following quick NordVPN tutorial for beginners, I'll take you through the steps on Windows, but the process is very similar on other operating systems as well. First, find the NordVPN installer in your Downloads folder. Then double-click it to begin installation, and then go through each step by clicking the Next button. During this process, you'll get a pop-up asking whether you'd also like to install the NordVPN and NordPass browser extensions alongside the VPN app. Simply untick the boxes if you don't want these extras just yet. Finally, once installation is complete, the program will ask if you want to launch NordVPN right away. Let's go ahead and do that now, and then see how to use NordVPN on PC devices. When you open the NordVPN app for the first time, you'll first have to log in with your account. This step will briefly direct you to the NordVPN account login screen in your web browser before returning you to the app. Don't worry, you won't have to do this every time you open NordVPN. The NordVPN home screen on Windows has everything you need to get started. You'll find the Secure My Connection button in the top left corner of the screen. Clicking it will immediately connect you to a nearby server that offers the fastest connection speeds for your current circumstances. Below is the search bar, where you can type in a particular country or city you'd like to connect to. Or lower still, you can scroll through the available locations. Simply click the country you want to connect to, and NordVPN will quickly re-establish your connection. No need to disconnect manually. Speaking of which, you can disconnect from your current VPN location by clicking the pause button and then picking the disconnect option at the bottom. On the far left of the app, you'll find menus for NordVPN's many other features, such as threat protection, file transfers, MeshNet, and dark web monitor, as well as settings at the bottom, all of which I'll cover later in the video. Overall, the app is intuitive and easy to use, whether you're using NordVPN on PC or mobile. However, I am a bit disappointed that the NordVPN desktop app decided to ditch the interactive world map for connecting to its servers. At least this feature is still available on mobile. By the way, do me a favor and click the like button if you're finding this NordVPN tutorial helpful. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the latest cybersecurity products. Now let's take a look at some of the other great features that NordVPN has to offer. I'll start with the specialty servers since they're one of the first things you see on the home screen. 
With NordVPN, you have a few options, starting with the dedicated IP servers at the top. They're an optional paid add-on that gives you an exclusive IP address in the country of your choice. Below that, you have double VPN servers, which, as the name suggests, routes your traffic through two servers for increased encryption and security. They're great if you need extra protection, but keep in mind that routing your connection through multiple servers will noticeably reduce your internet speeds. Next, you'll find obfuscated servers. These are crucial if you want to bypass online restrictions in countries which have strict censorship measures. You can also use Onion over VPN servers, which integrate your VPN connection with the Tor network to combine the anonymity benefits of both into one impenetrable package. Lastly, I recommend connecting to P2P servers if you want both security and optimal speeds while torrenting. Now let's take a look at the NordVPN features that have separate menus within the app, starting with Threat Protection Pro at the top. This is one of my favorites as it significantly enhances NordVPN security capabilities beyond what you get with typical VPN services. For example, it ensures that the files you download aren't laced with malware that could harm your device. Plus, it'll check your device for vulnerabilities to ensure that malicious hackers don't have an opening to exploit. Additionally, it makes your online browsing safer by blocking annoying ads and noisy trackers. Another unique feature that NordVPN includes is MeshNet, which enables a whole new world of possibilities. In short, it allows you to remotely connect to multiple devices with a secure encrypted connection in order to share resources. You can use this feature to share files or route your connection through another device to gain its IP address. Lastly, we have the Dark Web Monitor, which scans the dark web and checks leaked databases for your personal information. It immediately alerts you if something has slipped through, so you can take the necessary precautions to avoid further security issues like identity theft. Let's finish this NordVPN tutorial with an overview of the provider's technical settings that you can customize. As you can see, it has a bunch of extra tabs in the main settings menu, starting with General at the top, where you can change your app's appearance, language, and other small details. Next is the Accounts tab, which shows information about your account and subscription status. From here, you can set up multi-factor authentication to ensure no one can access your account if they have the login credentials. Now for my favorite tab, Connection and Security. From here, you can change the tunneling protocol, auto-connect preferences, DNS settings, and more. By default, the NordVPN app is set to automatically pick the most appropriate tunneling protocol for your situation, which is great because then you don't have to think about anything. On the other hand, you can easily make some adjustments if there are any issues with your connection. I recommend sticking with the NordLynx protocol for the best balance between speed and security. However, you should switch to NordWhisper when dealing with more restrictive networks. As you can see, we also have the auto-connect settings right underneath. You can choose which types of networks NordVPN should auto-connect to, and even pick a custom server location to connect to. Alternatively, you can enable auto-connect back at the home page when you're connecting to a particular server. Just click the Set as Auto-Connect button below the server's name, and you're good to go. Moving on, we have the Kill Switch tab for, you guessed it, enabling the kill switch. This feature disables internet access when the VPN connection is terminated, ensuring that your actual IP address and location are not accidentally leaked. What sets NordVPN apart from other providers is that you get two kill switches, one for the whole internet and another for specific apps that you choose, because maybe losing access to the entire internet sounds like an extreme measure, and you'd prefer shutting off a handful of apps that you don't want to know your location. Finally, the settings menu is also where you configure the split tunneling feature. With NordVPN, you can choose whether you'd like to limit the VPN traffic to specific apps or vice versa, to where certain apps are unaffected by the VPN connection and connect directly to the internet. NordVPN has you covered no matter what your preferences are. There you have it, an introduction to how to use NordVPN. I hope you agree that the whole NordVPN setup experience is pretty straightforward. Moreover, the app's user interface is very intuitive, allowing anyone to easily utilize its powerful security features and massive server network. However, most importantly, you can unlock all these excellent perks at a very affordable price. But wait, before you go add NordVPN to your cart, don't forget that you can save even more money on a subscription by using my discount link in the description below. NordVPN is an excellent investment, but that shouldn't stop you from taking an extra step to get the best deal possible. That's it for now. Thanks for watching my in-depth NordVPN tutorial. Until next time.